As soon as these kids pick up these flutes, their life begins to change. Putting music into their life gives them a sense of trust in themselves. It's going to give them a way through the thick forest that everybody wants to walk around because they find a way through it. It's music, but it's a tool to help them in life. And I know that from my experience. When I played a flute and I ended up traveling the world because I had the ability to try something new. And that's what I know that the impact of these workshops. The North American Indigenous Flute is an instrument that was here prior to contact. And it's something that I feel in my heart needs to be acknowledged. If we don't do that, we're ignoring what the reality was, doing a disservice to our Indigenous people. One of the easiest and most effective ways of trying to revitalize Kevin Locke's vision of the Indigenous flute is to actually have it in schools and have students having the opportunity to make flutes the traditional style and to be able to learn their history and how it was used and how it was played in the old times and in the new times how it's being used today. They build them, they play them, and being a flute maker and a player myself, I know that process and I know it always turns out good. And it's something that will last the students, not just their school life, but it's something that they will be able to carry with them for years and years to come. When you're in a troubled situation, the flute is something that you can take aside and you can start to play. You start to realize that your troubles are starting to slip away and it's almost as if the flute is playing you. And it's something that just takes over and you're able to let go and kind of find peace in your heart again. There was two students that made flutes with me at the very beginning that became my assembly helpers. They became the kids that would be trusted to be in the office to answer the phones. And it wasn't until years later when I learned that these students were actually troubled students the year before. They had a history of violence. They had a history of missing school. Their attendance was only 50%. It flipped a switch for them. All of a sudden, they found some joy and pride and goodness in themselves and that was just radiated out from everything that they did. And later on when I ran into their auntie who took care of them, she said that they would actually even be invited to play songs for weddings and different celebrations on their flutes. So that's the kind of impact the flute can have on kids. It's my old grind of Virginia that I have to remember because I'm getting old too. We always say got some snow on top of the mountain now. Hair's getting gray. Gotta think about those kids behind me coming up. What are they going to have? They're going to have something very beautiful to relate to. And it's not going to be in a museum like a toy behind glass. I took that on as my job. And the flute gave me that. It gave me that ability. But it was the sound of it. It brought me back to something inside me that I knew I can't forget. It took that image of that Indian, that so-called dirty rotten Indian I was called, and gave it what it originally was, a sweet, beautiful thing. And that's what that flute is, a sweet, beautiful thing. And we're sharing that. And it's from us. It's a unique sound from us, in our own words, in our own expression. It's from us.